Hey there, my friend. I'm Destiny, and I've got a remarkable tale to share with you. A story of self-discovery, courage, and the transformative power of intentional design. Picture yourself embarking on an unforgettable journey, hand-in-hand hand with me, as we explore the chapters of designing your life. From building a compass to embracing wayfinding with others, each step promises to ignite your soul and lead you to a life that resonates with your truest self. So, lean in closer, for this adventure is about to begin, and together, we'll craft a life filled with purpose, passion, and endless possibilities. Get ready to be inspired and empowered, for you're about to become part of this extraordinary tale. Let's dive in. Subscribe Illuminate Peak now for more great content. If you have already subscribed to our channel, thank you so much. Now let's get into the amazing book story that will change your life. Chapter 1 The Building a Life That Works. Hey there, my friend. My name is Destiny and I want to share a life-changing journey with you. It all started when I found myself lost in the complexities of life, yearning for something more meaningful. One day, while wandering through the busy streets of our bustling city, I stumbled upon a quaint little bookstore. There it was, Designing Your Life by Bill Burnett and Dave Evans, calling out to me from the shelf. As I flipped through the pages of the book, I felt an instant connection, it was as if the authors were speaking directly to me, addressing the very questions that had been swirling in my mind. I realized that I had the power to create a life that truly worked for me, a life filled with purpose, joy, and fulfillment. The first chapter, The Building a Life that Works, resonated deeply with me. It reminded me that life is not something that happens to us, it is something we can design and shape according to our dreams and aspirations. It was time to take control and become the architect of my own destiny. The chapter encouraged me to start where I was, to look within and discover what truly mattered to me. I began to reflect on my passions, values, and the things that brought me joy. In doing so, I unearthed a long-forgotten love for art and design, something I had pushed aside while chasing what I thought was a more conventional path. But this time, I decided to embrace my creative side wholeheartedly. I enrolled in art classes, and with each brushstroke, I felt a sense of purpose and excitement rushing back into my life. It was a feeling I hadn't experienced in a long time, and I knew I was on the right track. The building a life that works also emphasized the importance of having a compass to guide me on my journey. I needed a clear direction, a set of goals to strive for. So, I sat down and envisioned the different paths I could take to reach those goals. It was like mapping out a route for an incredible adventure, and I was eager to embark on it. As I continued reading, I learned about the concept of wayfinding, navigating through the uncertainties and challenges that life throws our way. I understood that setbacks were not failures, they were stepping stones to growth and learning. Embracing the spirit of wayfinding, I felt a newfound sense of courage to face whatever came my way. This chapter was a wake-up call to break free from the chains of indecision. I had been stuck at a crossroads for far too long, afraid to make choices that truly aligned with my values and aspirations. But with the inspiration from designing your life, I mustered the confidence to take charge of my decisions and move forward. The idea of designing my life didn't end with a single plan. Life is an ever-evolving journey, and I realized that I could create multiple versions of my life, each offering its unique set of adventures and opportunities. I felt a sense of freedom and excitement, knowing that I was not bound to a predetermined destiny but could shape my own path. So, my dear friend, as I share this chapter with you, I hope it inspires you to start designing your life too. Take a moment to reflect on what truly matters to you, and don't be afraid to embrace your passions and aspirations. Remember, life is a canvas waiting for you to paint your dreams upon it. With Designing Your Life as our guide, let's embark on this transformative journey together. Chapter 2. Start Where You Are Welcome back, my friend. I'm Destiny, 
and I'm excited to continue sharing my transformative journey with you. In the previous chapter, The Building a Life That Works, I discovered the power of designing my own destiny. Now, in Chapter 2, Start Where You Are, I learned the importance of embracing my current reality and beginning my transformation from right where I stood. As I delved deeper into designing your life, I realized that the key to building a life that worked for me was to start with a genuine understanding of myself. I couldn't just dream about the future, I had to anchor my dreams in the present moment. So, I took some time to reflect on who I was, what I valued, and what truly made me happy. I discovered that my passions were still very much alive, even though I had buried them under the weight of societal expectations. Art and design had always been my true love, and it was time to rekindle that flame. With newfound clarity, I enrolled in art classes and immersed myself in the world of creativity. Every stroke of the brush felt like a step towards reclaiming my authentic self. I could feel the passion and joy bubbling inside me, and it was invigorating. Start Where You Are also taught me the importance of acknowledging my current circumstances without judgment. It's easy to get caught up in comparing ourselves to others or dwelling on past mistakes. But I learned that this only hindered my growth and progress. Instead, I focused on the present moment and the opportunities it presented. Yes, I might have taken a detour from my true calling in the past, but it was never too late to realign my path with my passions. Each moment was a chance to start anew and make decisions that resonated with my heart. The chapter encouraged me to let go of the notion that I needed to have everything figured out from the start. Life is a journey of continuous discovery, and I didn't need to have all the answers right away. It was okay to explore and experiment, to learn from the experiences that came my way. As I embraced the idea of starting where I was, I realized that my journey was unique to me. I didn't have to follow a predetermined path or conform to societal norms. I had the freedom to create my own narrative and design a life that reflected my true self. With each passing day, I felt more connected to my authentic desires and aspirations. It was as if I had been sleepwalking through life before, and now I was finally awake and alive. The joy and fulfillment I experienced were like fuel, propelling me forward on my path of self-discovery and transformation. So, my dear friend, as we conclude this chapter, I invite you to reflect on your own journey. Embrace who you are and where you stand today. It's the starting point for creating a life that aligns with your passions and values. Don't be afraid to let go of past regrets or comparisons. Instead, focus on the present moment and the endless possibilities it holds. With Designing Your Life as Our Guide, let's continue on this incredible adventure, one step at a time. Together, we'll uncover the magic of starting where we are and designing a life that ignites our souls with passion and purpose. Chapter 3, Building a Compass Hello again, my friend. I'm Destiny, and I'm thrilled to continue sharing my inspiring journey with you. In the previous chapter, Start Where You Are, I discovered the importance of embracing my current reality and reigniting my passions. Now, in Chapter 3, Building a Compass, I learned how to chart a clear path for my life by setting goals and envisioning the different routes to achieve them. As I immersed myself in designing your life, I understood that a compass was essential for navigating the vast sea of possibilities that lay ahead. I needed a guiding light, a set of goals that would steer me in the right direction. So, I began to envision what I wanted my life to look like, the kind of career that fulfilled me, the relationships that brought joy, and the lifestyle that resonated with my values. The process of building my compass was both thrilling and introspective. I allowed my imagination to run wild, free from limitations and self-doubt. I envisioned a life that combined my passion for art and design with a purposeful career that positively impacted others. As I sketched the outline of my dreams, I realized that my compass was not a rigid, fixed plan but a flexible guide. It allowed room for exploration and adaptation. Life is full of unexpected twists and turns, 
and my compass needed to be adaptable enough to embrace change. But creating a compass was not solely an introspective endeavor. The book emphasized the importance of seeking guidance from others who had walked similar paths. I reached out to mentors and sought advice from friends who supported and understood my aspirations. Their wisdom and encouragement were invaluable as I shaped my compass. One crucial aspect of building my compass was understanding that I didn't need to have all the answers right away. The journey of life is an unfolding adventure, and my compass would evolve as I gained new insights and experiences. As I built my compass, I also learned to let go of the fear of making the wrong decisions. It was okay to explore different routes and try new things. Every step, even the ones that seemed like detours, contributed to my growth and understanding of myself. Building my compass was like preparing for a grand voyage, but the beauty was that I didn't need to have the entire route planned out. I knew where I wanted to go, and I had the confidence to navigate the unknown waters that lay ahead. So, my dear friend, as we conclude this chapter, I encourage you to start building your compass too. Envision the life you desire, set clear goals, and be open to the adventures that await you. Let your compass be your guiding star, lighting up your path even in the darkest of times. Remember that life is an ever-changing journey, and your compass will evolve with you. Seek guidance from those who support your dreams and let go of the fear of uncertainty. With Designing Your Life as Our Compass, we are well equipped to chart a course that leads us to a life filled with purpose, joy, and fulfillment. Let's set sail on this transformative voyage together. Chapter 4, Wayfinding Ah, my friend, it's destiny again, eager to continue my tale of transformation with you. In the previous chapter, Building a Compass, I envisioned the life I desired and set clear goals to guide me. Now, in Chapter 4, Wayfinding, I learned the art of navigating through the uncertainties and challenges that come our way on this journey called life. As I delved deeper into designing your life, I realized that the road to achieving my dreams wouldn't always be smooth. Life is full of twists and turns, and setbacks are bound to happen. But instead of being disheartened by them, I embraced the concept of wayfinding, the spirit of navigating through uncharted territory with courage and resilience. The process of wayfinding taught me to view setbacks as opportunities for growth and learning. Each challenge became a chance to gain valuable insights into myself and the world around me. I no longer feared failure, but rather saw it as a natural part of the journey towards success. One of the most empowering aspects of wayfinding was the realization that I didn't have to have all the answers or a perfect plan from the start. It was okay to take one step at a time, even if I couldn't see the entire path ahead. The key was to stay curious, open-minded, and willing to explore new possibilities. Wayfinding also taught me the importance of seeking support and advice from others. I reached out to mentors and friends who had experienced similar challenges and triumphs. Their guidance and encouragement became an invaluable compass when I encountered rough seas. In the face of uncertainty, I discovered the strength to trust my instincts and intuition. Deep down, I knew that I had the wisdom to navigate my own journey. Each decision I made, every path I chose, was an opportunity to learn more about myself and the world around me. As I embraced wayfinding, I found myself more open to embracing change. Life is dynamic, and the world is constantly evolving. Instead of resisting change, I learned to embrace it as an integral part of the journey. Every shift in direction brought with it new opportunities and discoveries. The wayfinding mindset also allowed me to be more present and mindful. Instead of dwelling on the past or worrying about the future, I focused on the here and now. It was in the present moment that I could make the most meaningful decisions that would shape my future. As we conclude this chapter, my friend, I encourage you to adopt the spirit of wayfinding on your own journey. Embrace the uncertainties, view setbacks as stepping stones to growth, and stay open to new possibilities. 
trust in your instincts and seek guidance from those who have walked similar paths. Remember that the journey of life is not about reaching a specific destination but about the experiences and lessons we gain along the way. With designing your life as our guide, let us continue to wayfind fearlessly, knowing that each step we take brings us closer to a life filled with purpose, fulfillment, and adventure. Onward we go. Chapter 5, Getting Unstuck. Hello again, my dear friend. It's Destiny, back to share another chapter of my inspiring journey with you. In the previous chapter, Wayfinding, I learned the art of navigating through life's uncertainties with courage and resilience. Now, in Chapter 5, Getting Unstuck, I discovered how to break free from the shackles of indecision and move forward with clarity and determination. Designing your life shed light on the common predicament of feeling stuck, a state where we find ourselves unable to make progress or choose a clear direction. I, too, had faced this challenge, unsure of which path to take and held back by the fear of making the wrong decision. But the book taught me that being stuck was not a sign of failure or weakness, it was an opportunity for growth and self-discovery. I realized that I needed to confront my fears and doubts head-on to find a way out of this paralyzing state. One of the first steps in getting unstuck was to recognize that I was not alone in this struggle. Many others had faced similar challenges, and they had found ways to overcome them. Seeking advice and support from friends, mentors, and fellow wayfinders was a crucial source of encouragement during this process. I also learned that getting unstuck required me to let go of perfectionism. I had been trapped in the illusion that I needed to have a perfect plan before taking action. But the truth was that there was no such thing as a flawless plan. It was okay to start with imperfect steps and adjust my course along the way. To gain clarity on my next steps, I engaged in active experimentation. I tried different options and explored various paths, treating each experience as a valuable prototype. Some experiments worked out beautifully, while others revealed insights into what didn't resonate with me. The process of getting unstuck also involved confronting the fear of failure. Instead of avoiding risks, I embraced them as opportunities for growth. I learned that failures were not the end of the road, but stepping stones towards success. Each setback brought me closer to finding the path that truly aligned with my values and aspirations. But perhaps the most significant lesson in getting unstuck was the power of trusting my inner voice. I had spent too much time seeking external validation and opinions, but deep down, I knew what was right for me. Listening to my intuition and having faith in my decisions allowed me to move forward with confidence. As I took the leap to get unstuck, I felt a sense of liberation and empowerment. I was no longer confined by indecision, and my path began to unfold before me. Every choice I made, every decision I took ownership of, brought me closer to the life I had envisioned. My friend, as we conclude this chapter, I encourage you to examine any areas in your life where you feel stuck. Embrace the challenges as opportunities for growth and experimentation. Seek guidance and support from those who understand your journey, and most importantly, trust in your instincts. Remember that getting unstuck is not an overnight process, it requires patience and perseverance. With designing your life as our guide, let us continue to take bold steps towards a life filled with purpose and authenticity. Together, we shall break free from the chains of indecision and forge a path that leads us to our true destinies. Onward we go, with renewed determination. Chapter 6, Designing Your Lives Hello again, my dear friend. I'm Destiny, and I'm thrilled to continue sharing my transformative journey with you. In the previous chapter, Getting Unstuck, I broke free from the chains of indecision and embraced the power of experimentation and trusting my intuition. Now, in Chapter 6, Designing Your Lives, I learned that life is not limited to a single, predetermined path, it is an ongoing process of designing and redesigning our destinies. Designing Your Lives presented a liberating idea that we have the power to create multiple versions of our lives, 
each offering its unique set of adventures and opportunities. This concept was both thrilling and empowering, as it allowed me to let go of the pressure to find the one perfect path and instead embrace the fluidity of life's design. I realized that I wasn't bound to a fixed plan, but I could envision different scenarios and pursue diverse interests. This realization sparked a newfound excitement in me. I could be an artist and a philanthropist, a traveler and a mentor, a dreamer and a doer, all in one lifetime. The process of designing my life became an ongoing adventure, a journey of self-discovery and continuous exploration. I embraced the idea that each stage of life might bring forth different passions, aspirations, and dreams. As I evolved, my life's design could also evolve, adapting to the person I was becoming. Through this liberating concept, I found the courage to dream big and step outside my comfort zone. I designed a life that pushed the boundaries of what I thought was possible, unearthing hidden talents and passions I never knew I possessed. With each step, I became more open to serendipity and the unexpected opportunities that life presented. Instead of rigidly adhering to a fixed plan, I remained flexible and open-minded, ready to embrace the magic of the unknown. One of the most beautiful aspects of designing my life was the freedom to pursue my own definition of success. It wasn't about meeting external expectations or societal norms, it was about creating a life that aligned with my values and brought me genuine fulfillment. As I shared this chapter with you, my dear friend, I invite you to join me in the joyous process of designing your life. Embrace the idea that life is a canvas waiting for you to paint your dreams upon it. You are not confined to a single path, you are the artist of your destiny. Embrace the fluidity of life's design, knowing that you can create multiple versions of your life. Be open to the journey of self-discovery and continuous growth, for it is through this journey that you will find your true calling and purpose. Let go of the fear of making mistakes or taking detours. Each experience, each experiment, is a valuable part of your life's design, contributing to the person you are becoming. With designing your life as our guiding light, let us embark on this adventure of a lifetime. Together, we shall shape a life that is authentic, purposeful, and filled with endless possibilities. Let us embrace the power of designing our lives and create a masterpiece that reflects the beauty of our souls. Onward we go, hand in hand, on this transformative journey of self-discovery and design. Chapter 7, Prototyping Welcome back, my friend. It's destiny once more, excited to continue our transformative journey together. In the previous chapter, Designing Your Lives, I learned the power of embracing the fluidity of life's design and creating multiple versions of my life. Now, in Chapter 7, Prototyping, I discovered the art of experimenting fearlessly and learning from every step I took. Designing Your Life introduced me to the concept of prototyping, a process that resonated deeply with me. Just like a designer creates prototypes to test ideas before finalizing a product, I realized that I could apply the same approach to my life's design. Prototyping empowered me to try out different options and experiences without the fear of failure. I saw each attempt as a valuable learning opportunity, whether it resulted in success or not. It was through these prototypes that I gained insights into what truly resonated with my heart and soul. I approached life with a curious and adventurous spirit eager to explore various paths. I no longer felt confined to a single plan, but instead, I welcomed the surprises and discoveries that came with each prototype. With my newfound approach, I delved into different interests and careers, all while remaining open to change and adaptation. It was liberating to know that I could pivot and redesign my path based on the lessons learned from each experience. As I prototyped my way through life, I sought feedback and guidance from those around me. Friends, mentors, and colleagues became invaluable sources of support and encouragement. Their perspectives provided fresh insights and helped me fine-tune my prototypes. I learned to embrace both success and failure with grace and gratitude. Successes affirmed the choices I made, 
while failures became stepping stones to growth and improvement. Each experience contributed to the rich tapestry of my life's design. Prototyping also taught me the importance of being present in the moment. Instead of getting caught up in worries about the future or regrets about the past, I focused on fully experiencing the present. It was in the now that I could learn, grow, and savor life's beauty. With each prototype, I gained a deeper understanding of myself and what brought me true joy and fulfillment. I discovered passions I didn't know existed, and I let go of pursuits that no longer align with my values. As we conclude this chapter, my dear friend, I encourage you to embrace the spirit of prototyping in your own life. Don't be afraid to experiment and explore different paths. Embrace each experience as a valuable learning opportunity, knowing that it contributes to your personal growth and self-discovery. Seek feedback and support from those who understand and support your journey. Stay present in the moment, relishing the magic of each step you take. With Designing Your Life as Our Guiding Light, let us continue to prototype fearlessly and design a life that reflects the true essence of our souls. Onward we go, with the excitement of exploration and the courage to embrace the unknown. Together, let's craft a life that is uniquely ours, a masterpiece of self-discovery and fulfillment. Chapter 8, Building a Team Hello, my dear friend. It's destiny once again, eager to continue our transformative journey through the chapters of Designing Your Life. In the previous chapter, Prototyping, I embraced the art of fearless experimentation and learning from every experience. Now, in Chapter 8, Building a Team, I discovered the power of surrounding myself with like-minded individuals who supported and uplifted me on my path of self-discovery and design. Life's journey can be exhilarating, but it can also be challenging at times. I realized that I didn't have to navigate this adventure alone. Building a team of friends, mentors, and colleagues became a vital aspect of my growth and development. The process of building a team began with recognizing the value of connection and collaboration. I sought out individuals who shared similar aspirations and understood the importance of designing a life that aligned with their passions and values. Surrounding myself with like-minded souls became a source of inspiration and motivation. We encouraged each other to pursue our dreams fearlessly and provided a support network during both the triumphs and the trials. I found mentors who had walked similar paths and achieved the kind of life I aspired to lead. Their guidance and wisdom were invaluable, as they shared valuable insights and helped me navigate through challenges. Sharing my dreams and goals with my team created a sense of accountability. It motivated me to stay committed to my aspirations and take consistent action towards my vision. Building a team also allowed me to tap into a wealth of knowledge and expertise. I learned from the experiences of those around me and gained a broader perspective on life and its possibilities. The synergy of our team inspired creative thinking and encouraged us to explore new avenues. Together, we became a community of dreamers and doers, constantly learning and growing from one another. As I surrounded myself with supportive individuals, I also learned the value of reciprocity. I offered my support and encouragement to my team members in return. Together, we celebrated each other's successes and offered a helping hand during challenging times. In this chapter, I discovered that building a team wasn't just about finding like-minded individuals, it was about fostering a sense of community and camaraderie. We celebrated our unique journeys and lifted each other up during moments of doubt. As we conclude this chapter, my friend, I encourage you to consider the power of building your own team. Seek out individuals who share your passion for self-discovery and personal growth. Nurture these relationships and let them become a source of inspiration and support on your journey. Celebrate your dreams with your team and be open to learning from their experiences as they learn from yours. Together, let us create a community of dreamers and doers, supporting one another as we design lives that reflect our authentic selves. With Designing Your Life as Our Guide, 
Let us continue to build our teams and embark on this transformative journey together. Hand in hand, we shall inspire each other, learn from one another, and create a life that resonates with our true essence. Onward we go, surrounded by the strength and warmth of our team, shaping a future filled with purpose and fulfillment. Chapter 9, Wayfinding with Others Hello again, my dear friend. It's Destiny, and I'm excited to continue our transformative journey through the chapters of Designing Your Life. In the previous chapter, Building a Team, I discovered the power of surrounding myself with supportive individuals who inspired and uplifted me. Now, in Chapter 9, Wayfinding with Others, I learned the beauty of connecting with fellow wayfinders and helping each other navigate our unique paths. Life's journey is enriched when shared with others who understand and support our aspirations. I realized that wayfinding wasn't just a solo endeavor, it was about forming connections and fostering a sense of community. As I interacted with other wayfinders, I discovered that we all faced similar challenges and uncertainties. Sharing our experiences and learning from one another created a sense of camaraderie and mutual understanding. In the spirit of wayfinding with others, I became a source of encouragement and inspiration. I offered support to those on a similar path, knowing that we could lift each other up during moments of doubt. Through these connections, I gained valuable insights and perspectives that broadened my understanding of life and its myriad possibilities. Each encounter became an opportunity for growth and self-discovery. The diverse backgrounds and experiences of my fellow wayfinders taught me that there were countless ways to design a life that worked. I no longer felt confined to a single model of success, instead, I embraced the beauty of our individuality and the multiplicity of life's paths. Wayfinding with others also allowed me to explore new horizons beyond my comfort zone. I participated in workshops, attended seminars, and engaged in group activities that exposed me to fresh ideas and perspectives. I discovered that the journey of self-discovery and design was not a competition but a collective endeavor. We celebrated each other's successes and supported one another during challenges, knowing that we were all on this transformative journey together. Wayfinding with others became a continuous source of inspiration. We shared stories of triumphs, lessons learned, and dreams yet to be realized. Each encounter reminded me of the limitless possibilities that awaited me on my path. In this chapter, I realized that the connections we form with others on our journey are precious and profound. The support and understanding we offer one another create a tapestry of shared experiences and personal growth. As we conclude this chapter, my friend, I encourage you to embrace the beauty of wayfinding with others. Seek out fellow wayfinders who resonate with your dreams and values. Engage in meaningful conversations, share your experiences, and be open to learning from theirs. Let us celebrate the uniqueness of each person's journey and find strength in the knowledge that we are not alone on this transformative path. With designing your life as our guiding compass, let us continue to wayfind with others, hand in hand, as we create lives that reflect our true selves. Together, we shall inspire and uplift one another, shaping a future filled with purpose, connection, and the joy of shared exploration. Onward we go, as a community of wayfinders, on this remarkable journey of self-discovery and collective growth. Chapter 10, Building Your Odyssey Plan Greetings once more, my dear friend. It's destiny, and I'm thrilled to continue our transformative journey through the final chapter of Designing Your Life. In the previous chapter, Wayfinding with Others, I experienced the power of connecting with fellow wayfinders and sharing the joys and challenges of our unique paths. Now, in Chapter 10, Building Your Odyssey Plan, I learned the art of crafting a dynamic and adaptable plan that would guide me on an epic adventure of personal growth and fulfillment. The concept of the Odyssey plan was both intriguing and liberating. Instead of relying on a fixed roadmap, I embraced the idea of crafting multiple scenarios for my life, each presenting its own set of possibilities and opportunities. Building my Odyssey plan began with daring to dream big. 
I allowed my imagination to soar, envisioning the life I desired without limitations. I asked myself meaningful questions, exploring various what-if scenarios that reflected my deepest desires. The process was both exhilarating and introspective. I delved into the heart of what truly brought me joy and fulfillment, and I mapped out different paths that resonated with my passions and values. One of the most powerful aspects of the Odyssey plan was its flexibility. I understood that life's journey is dynamic and circumstances change. My plan could evolve and adapt as I grew, gaining new insights and experiences along the way. As I built my Odyssey plan, I sought inspiration from the stories of others who had embarked on similar journeys of self-discovery. Their experiences showed me that there were countless ways to lead a meaningful and purposeful life, and that there was no one-size-fits-all approach to success. I also realized that building my Odyssey plan didn't mean I had to have all the answers right away. It was okay to leave room for spontaneity and serendipity. Life's magic often lies in the unexpected twists and turns that open new doors of opportunity. The process of crafting my Odyssey plan was deeply empowering. It allowed me to take ownership of my life's design, knowing that I had the power to shape my destiny. I felt a renewed sense of purpose and determination, eager to embark on this grand adventure. In the spirit of designing your life, I shared my Odyssey plan with my team and fellow Wayfinders. Their feedback and support enriched my plan, providing fresh perspectives and insights. As we conclude this final chapter, my friend, I invite you to build your own Odyssey plan. Dare to dream big and envision a life that aligns with your truest desires and values. Be open to the magic of life's journey, embracing the possibilities that lie beyond the horizon. Remember that your Odyssey plan is not set in stone, it is a dynamic guide that evolves with you. Embrace the joy of experimentation, the wisdom of wayfinding, and the power of connecting with others on this remarkable journey. With Designing Your Life as Our Guiding Light, let us embark on this epic adventure of personal growth, fulfillment, and self-discovery. Together, as a community of wayfinders, let us celebrate the beauty of designing lives that are uniquely ours, filled with purpose, passion, and boundless possibilities. Onward we go, with hearts full of hope and excitement, on this grand odyssey of life. Epilogue, Living a Designed Life My dear friend, we've come to the end of our transformative journey through the chapters of Designing Your Life. As destiny, I stand here today, living a life that reflects the beauty of self-discovery and intentional design. The lessons I learned from this incredible book have become the foundation of my journey, and I'm grateful for the wisdom it imparted. The journey of self-discovery and designing my life has been a remarkable adventure. I've embraced the power of starting where I am, acknowledging and cherishing the person I have become. I built a compass to guide me on this journey, setting clear goals that resonate with my deepest passions and values. Through prototyping and experimentation, I've fearlessly explored different paths, learning and growing from every experience. Each setback became an opportunity for growth, and every success inspired me to reach for even greater heights. Building a team of like-minded individuals has been an essential part of this journey. I've found strength and inspiration in the connections we've formed, celebrating each other's victories and offering support during challenges. Wayfinding with others has enriched my life with a sense of community and a shared purpose. Crafting my Odyssey plan has been an empowering process, allowing me to dream big and envision a life that aligns with my heart's true desires. I've embraced the flexibility of this plan, knowing that life's journey is a continuous unfolding of possibilities. As I stand here, living a designed life, I've come to appreciate the beauty of each moment. I cherish the present and remain open to the surprises and opportunities that life presents. The joy of exploration and the magic of self-discovery have become my companions on this grand adventure. I am no longer held back by indecision or fear of failure. Instead, I approach life with curiosity, courage, and a willingness to take risks. 
The notion of success has transformed into a personal fulfillment that is deeply rooted in authenticity and purpose. With designing your life as my guiding compass, I continue to embrace the transformative power of intentional design. I know that life's journey is ever-evolving, and I look forward to each new chapter with excitement and anticipation. As I conclude this epilogue, my friend, I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude for accompanying me on this journey. I hope that my story has inspired and resonated with you, encouraging you to embrace the art of designing your own life. May you find the courage to start where you are, the wisdom to build your compass, the fearlessness to prototype and experiment, the joy of wayfinding with others, and the thrill of crafting your own odyssey plan. As you embark on your own transformative journey, may you find fulfillment, purpose, and a life that reflects the beauty of your truest self. With designing your life as our constant guide, let us continue to create lives that are authentic, purposeful, and filled with boundless possibilities. Onward we go, my dear friend, hand in hand, on this remarkable journey of living a design life. Together, let us celebrate the magic of self-discovery and the beauty of intentional design.